Hey, let's talk about the Stupendium. Recently, the Stupendium released the official Game Theory song, and if you know anything about these two creators, you know that it's going to be filled to the brim with references and easter eggs. MatPat even made a YouTube short teasing the hidden details, so this is my crack at uncovering as many of these details as possible. Let's go! The video starts with nods to all four of the Main Theory channel logos. There's a reference here to the original Game Theory and GT Live intros, where several console logos flash by in quick succession. These four series have many Game Theory episodes between them, as well as a few other Theory episodes. So here we flash through a few series that Game Theory has done over the years, and this one's clearly a bunch of Mario stuff, but I bet you didn't see Count Black the first time you watched this. This shot is mostly focused on the Garden of Ban Ban cases, but I just wanted to point out that the shelf below this is almost entirely populated by various copies of Dungeon Dweller for the TS4. Alright, on to our first collage of easter eggs. Here we've got Tiny Build simping for MatPat, that Luigi episode, hashtag blame Jason from GT Live, betwixt y'all, a circle within a circle, old school MatPat, the infamous blank is dead theory, Gregory or any random kid with brown hair and a striped shirt is the crying child, and these two pictures, which I don't know the meaning of. The line here is a reference to this Fallout episode of Game Theory. It's hard to tell what the reference is here, but it's either one of these two videos. Did I mention this video also has a lot of background details? On the shelf here, we can see Mr. Tomato, a Maxim Tomato, an Oddish, and a Dekubaba. Also, as far as I can tell, this whiteboard is largely illegible, but there's a Koopa Clown car and whatever this equation is. Also, KK Slider is posed as the Vitruvian Man here. By the way, the lyrics here are a reference to this episode of Game Theory about Toad, and the Frogger sprite we have here is actually a reference to a super old school Game Theory opening, where he's right here. Do I need to keep pointing out these obvious references? This is a reference to many Game Theory episodes where they look at the source code of certain games to figure out mysteries. Alright, this is about to be a lot, so buckle up! Here we have Missing No, Pete the Pumpkin, and Bob, and this guy. Next we have Monica, I Am Air, also a T-Pose. Here's the Duck Season Dog, what looks like maybe a Roman numeral 3, and Hero Brian. Also, Porygon. And finally, Spamton, the Pet Scout protagonist, Bunny Graveyard, and Glitch Trap. Also, the lyrics here are one of the many references to FNAF in this video. Alright, on the right wall here we can see the hosts of the other shows that used to be hosted on the Game Theorist channel. Crossover, A Brief History, Culture Shock, Digressing and Sidequesting, and The Science. And on the left wall, we can see Psychic Friend Fredbear, The Epic of Stew, a Pipachu, as well as Number One Crate and Kirby making an appearance. Also Isabel. This Galaga ship sprite appears a number of times throughout this video, but this is the first appearance, and so we'll count it. It also shoots a variety of 8-bit creatures. Here, we see it shoot a Space Invader, a Spider, which I thought was from Centipede, but the sprites are clearly different, a Frygar, a TIE Fighter, and a Pac-Man Ghost. Moving on to the next scene, we have a Zelda poster, pixel measurements, and a Fall Guy anatomy. According to MatPat, the calculator here shows an equation that results in the year Game Theory was founded. Additionally, there's Among Us, a Game Theory logo, and a FNAF map that doesn't seem to match any of the games. We also have a highlighted line about toads being turned into bricks and horsetail plants, an Animal Crossing disc, a New Horizons map, also, a Pokemon poster, an old school Game Theory drawing, Donkey Kong, Bendy, a Game Theory pen, and GTA 5, and also this notepad. This line is referencing how teasers found on the Scott Games website often need to be brightened to see everything. MapHat's Diet Coke addiction is very well documented at this point. Also, a reference to an Only Cans video. Alright, we're starting to get packed in real tight here. We've got an Assassin's Creed video reference, a Kindergarten video reference, Chicken Nugget, Cuphead, and the banana from Fortnite. These lines are actually referencing two separate Bioshock episodes. Another FNAF reference. Originally I thought this was a line referencing Vita Carnus, but apparently there's a game called Carry On that I just didn't know about before doing research for this episode. More FNAF. Here we've got a reference to Cooking Companions, and right at the corner of the screen, Hello Puppets. Next we've got a few quick references to how old Ash Ketchum is, the Sans' Nest video, and Markiplier's Smash Pass with Pokemon. After this we've got lines referencing Pressure Washing Simulator, and Duck Season. Also, more Duck Season references on screen. Then, more references to videos, including Doki Doki Literature Club, the Bottle Flip video, the Ender Dragon video, the Zipper episode, and Luigi being a millionaire. This time, the right wall has other members of Team Theorist, including Dan, Jason, Stephanie, and Chris. This time, the characters that pop up from the background are Pikachu, the boyfriend from Friday Night Funkin', and Huggy Wuggy. And the left wall has the GT Live background, including Drama Llama. 
I'm gonna be honest, this Galaga segment, I had a lot more difficult of a time figuring out what these things were. We've got some kind of snake alligator, a frog, and a car of some sort. But we also have a Tetris T-Block and the monster from Princess Quest. Alright, next scene. We've got the Game Theory ARG, Doki Doki, the Zelda timeline, a couple of inscription references, and this paper which has a few references including a guy who could be referencing the old man from Zelda, and a VHS tape which could be referencing a number of games, including Duck Season, Tattletale, and Help Wanted. And yeah, I know they're cassette tapes, but they look similar enough. We also have an actual ruler this time. Next are references to My Friendly Neighborhood, Creeper Anatomy, a note that seems somewhat illegible, a blueprint, and a newspaper. There's also this weird symbol that I swear I've seen before, but I can't for the life of me figure out where it's from. This next segment features fan art with the backdrop of the glitched final level from Pac-Man, as well as sprites of Blinky, Mario, Mega Man, and Ness. The line in this scene is a reference to Food Theory's most popular video, How Long Could You Survive in a Grocery Store? And the set dressing is also referencing a number of other Food Theory videos, including the meat dress, the spray bottle of butter, what looks like a leather work boot, Fiji water, NyQuil, horse meat, Apollo hot sauce, a few peppers, Betty Crocker cake mix, Starlight Diet Coke, and the Grimace Shake. All of which are references to various episodes of Food Theory. The lines in the background here are clearly referencing this Film Theory episode. Oh look, it's Dad! Wow, we're really having to start going frame by frame here. Next we have scrawls along the walls saying look closer and take one step back, likely referencing the ARG. There's also some hidden images in the static on the TV screen over here. This first one is clearly a screen grab from Local 58. Note the exact same seal. This next one is actually really difficult to figure out what it is, considering this is the only frame where it's clearly visible, and there's a giant line through it. But considering the fact that the top says Emergency Alert System, I'm assuming this is also a Local 58. Also, Pig Mask. The next image to flash up on the screen is a marionette with two and six in its eyes, followed by Map Hat Jigsaw. We also have a long string of numbers on the wall over here, which, as far as I can tell, are 1, 8, 1, 2, 2, 6, 4, 7, 1, 9, 4, 1, 8, 1, 9, 5, 9, 6, 1, 3, 1, 8, 8, 1, 3, 6, 2, 6, 1, 2. What is maybe an 8 or a 3, and then 1, 3, 6. The color of these numbers also switches between green and red every one or two digits. I'll leave it to you guys to figure out what this one means. More video references here, as well as cameos from Mickey Mouse, Subway Tuna Fish, and the Goldfish. Ah! Kill it with flame broil! Clap and a Half is a running joke on GT Live that was started by Matt Pat's teacher when he was a child, and the Decibel Tracker has been used in a number of Food Theory videos. Alright, for the professors here we have Baldi, Doofenshmirtz, Professor Oak, and Professor Proton. Whoa, alright, more Team Theorist cameos. From left to right, we have Amy, Matt, Dan, Matt again, Ryder, Ash, Matt again again, Santi, and Tom and Lee. Do an aileron roll. I genuinely have no idea where they got this quote from. Anyway, the next screen has Granny from that Pedro Pascal game, the Pizza Tower guy, Smash Bros, and a Game Theory version of Link and Freddy. Ed Cross profile icon. There's a lot of theory references here, but considering they're literally showing them, I'm just gonna count them all and move on. Map Hat gave Undertale to the Pope. In this corner, we have the creative directors of the theory channels and cooking companions. And in this corner, we have GT Live co-hosts. Also, Grubhub, Red Guy, and Rick. Oh cool, more asteroids! Here's a fish from Andy's Apple Farm, a red virus from Dr. Mario, a dinosaur thing, and a sidestepper from Mario Bros. Also an Octorok. Alright, home stretch, here we go. Deadpool poster, the KFC console blueprint. Stranger Things poster, a blood moon, trying to figure out where Springfield is. Spoiler alert, it's not any of these states. Ed Krauss driver's license, cannibal M&Ms, a McDonald's Monopoly game piece, a golden ticket from Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory, a recipe for something, Gravity Falls lore, the color wheel, eating lipstick, the random distribution of coins in Scrooge's Money Vault, an adult ticket for the Paw Patrol movie, a fake pocket, and a blueprint for Goddard. And finally, we close out with clips from GT Live, How to Survive Saw, How Deadly is a High Heel, MUSIC MAN! Spray on Clothes, Slapping Chicken, GT Live Again, Thanos Was Right, GT Live 10 Year Game Theory Celebration, A Rick and Morty Episode, St. Jude Charity Livestream, How Much Does a Pokemon Master Earn, Neo Is Not the One, A Streamy Award, Mario Is a Psychopath, and a Skype Call Between Ronnie and Matt Pat. And finally, the first ever Game Theory outro.
from the second ever episode of Game Theory. He just didn't do it in the first one. Hey, I really appreciate you watching this far. I also really appreciate you watching in general. I know I haven't been the most consistent recently, but I covered all that in my last video, and I really want 2024 to be a great year for this channel. If you want to help me achieve this goal, leave a comment. Not only do I want to hear your feedback as well as any details I missed, but leaving a comment is also the best way to boost me in the algorithm. Anyway, I'll let you get on with your day, but make sure to check back for more new videos. I've got a bit of a format change I want to try in the next one. See you then.